In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can build graphical user interfaces in Python using TKinter. A computer system consists of hardware. Now, this hardware is controlled by an operating system, and it's usual for high-level languages to be regarded as being sitting on top of the operating system, and Python is no exception. And what this means is when you write your programs in Python to control the hardware, because that's what computer programs do, they control the hardware of the computer, Python will do so with the help of the operating system. If you you wish to build a graphical user interface using Python, then just having the operating system and the hardware isn't sufficient. Python requires other services, and these other services can come from a number of sources, but one that's of interest to many Python programmers is something referred to as TCL TK. Now, TCL stands for Tool Command Language. It's a scripting language with its own interpreter, and TK is a toolkit for building graphical user interfaces. The thing about TCL TK is it's not Python, so you cannot control and access the services of TCL TK using Python like syntax. So, what in fact has happened? Another package is introduced, and this package is referred to as TK Inter, and what it acts as is an intermediary between Python and TCL TK. In other words, TK Inter allows you to use the services of TCL TK but using the syntax of Python. So, as a Python programmer, you need not be directly concerned with TCL TK. Your view of the graphical user interface applications built with Python is governed by TK Inter. TK Inter makes everything appear as an object. So you can create your graphical user interfaces knowing that you can regard a window as an object, a button that's placed on a window as an object, and so on. So you can build your applications from the viewpoint of an object oriented programming paradigm. All you need to do as a Python programmer is make sure that you set your code up in such a way that it allows you access to TK Inter this particular level as I'm showing in this diagram. And that can be achieved quite simply by the following. You say from TK Inter import, and this symbol here means everything. So Python now can build graphical user interfaces, treating all of the widgets such as the windows, the buttons, the drop-down menus, the radio buttons, and so on, as if they were objects. But to ensure that your Python program can build graphical user interfaces, you have to put this line at the top of your computer program. So let's have a look at a simple Python program that uses TK Inter. Here you can see I've got a very small snippet of code. And if you look at this line, it's saying from TK Inter import everything. And the next line, have a quick look at that. Well, you should know if you've been following the other videos in this series that this is how you produce an instance of a class, an object of a class. And this is the variable name. And in fact, the variable name is going to be bound to an instance of this particular class here. So if I run this program, this is what we will get out. We get this. Now, this is an instance of this class. This is an object of this class. And you can see it has a minimize button, the maximize button. It can be shut down. And we'll look at the actual window in a later video. But here you can see to give us a window at runtime, we create an instance of this particular class. Let's now consider the following snippet of code here. It's identical to the program we've just looked at, except I've got this extra line of code here, which is going to print the ID of my window and the type of my window. So when this program runs, what we will see is this. So this line here was responsible for producing the instance as shown here, i.e. the object. And this line was responsible for this output. And we can see that ID my window is given as this, which is the unique identifier for this particular object. 
This bit of the code has been responsible for this, showing us that the type of this object is in fact tkinter.tk. So what this line of code has actually done, it's allowed our computer program to treat the widgets that make up a graphical user interface, and this window here is an example of a widget within the graphical user interface, as objects. Now how TCLTK actually treats the graphical user interface widgets, we don't need to worry about as a Python programmer. That's why we have this TK inter. It is an intermediary between the language of Python and, if you like, the language of TCL TK. So we can regard everything as instances and create instances of particular classes as shown by this line here. Let's just quickly consider the following snippet of code and you can see that the first line here I've commented it out. So in other words, this line now doesn't form part of the computer program because I put this hash symbol here. This is treated as a comment, not as a program statement within the program. So if I now run this, this is what I get. And you can see it's coming down here and it says name error, name TK is not defined. Now that's because this particular line now is using TK, as you can see here, but because we haven't put this in, it's saying, well, I don't know what this is. What are you doing here? Has this been declared anywhere? Well, the answer is not as part of Python. You have to have this line in, obviously not commented out like this, in order to actually allow Python to treat all of the widgets in the graphical user interfaces as objects. So we can confirm that if we now remove the hash, so this is now part of the actual program. When we run this line, we're creating an instance of this particular class, and we will get this output here, as you can see. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?